Welcome back to another video. You might have probably come across a cloud of words containing words of different sizes in various shapes or in a simple rectangle format. This is known as a tag cloud or a word cloud. In this tutorial video, we will look at how to create word clouds in Python and how to give a shape to them. Before moving forward, please take a moment to hit the like button and smash that subscribe button and turn on bell notification so that you don't miss any updates. Stay tuned. What is Word Cloud? Word Cloud is a data visualization tool for text and are mainly used to visualize the words with high frequency or importance in a text or website. Each word in the Word Cloud will be of a different color and size. The words with the biggest font size will be the most frequently occurring words. Okay, so now let's head over to a Jupyter Notebook. The first thing to do is to install the required libraries. Now since I've already installed the libraries, it will show the requirement is already satisfied. The next thing to do is to import the necessary modules. So for this I'm importing the white cloud module, importing matplotlib library to display the plots. Now we need to import the pandas and numpy library. Next we need to import the NLTK library for removing the stop words in tokenization. The stop words are words that do not add much meaning to the sentence and we can remove it from our analysis. So now since the libraries are installed, let's proceed to import the stop words. So we're importing stop words from NLTK corpus and we're importing word tokenize from NLTK tokenize. Now let's set the stop words as English stop words. To do that, stop words equal to set stop words dot words English. Now this will tell the program to select all the stop words in English. To see the stop word, we can print the stop words. Print stop words. And there you have a list of all the stop words in English. Now let's add data to create our word cloud. For this example, I'm taking a definition of artificial intelligence from the Wikipedia. So our data will be Now that we have the data, I'm going to create a function to do some pre-processing on the data such as stop word removal, tokenization and lowercase conversion. To do this, I'm defining a function data preprocessing. Define data and the input will be our data and what this will do is lowercase conversion. To do that, it will take in the data and data dot lower. This will convert the data into lowercase and then we need to tokenize the data. To do that, data tokens equal to word tokenize, word tokenize up data. The next thing we need to do in our processing is to remove the stop words. word for word in data tokens if not word in stop words. So what this function does is it will check for all the words in our data tokens 
and will return all the words which are not there in a stop words list. And we need to return the process words. So this is a function. Now let's apply pre-processing to our data. To do this, as you can see, this is our original data and this is the process data. Now that we have processed the text data, let's plot the word cloud. Let's define the figure size. I'm giving 10 by 10. And face color is none. Now face color is used to add a border. If none is selected, no border is given. Data processed. And we'll do plot dot image show it to show the image. We want to turn off the axis, so I'm typing in plot dot axis off. And as we can see, our word cloud is generated. Now instead of none, if we give a face color, for example, I'm giving red, we'll get a red border. Similarly, I can change the size of the figure. The figure will be larger. We can also change the background color. To do that, we need to type in the background color. Background color equal to, I'm giving white and it will give you the word cloud in a white background. Now I can also save this word cloud as an image. To do that, I'm first setting the part directory, import os, os dot change directory. I'm setting the part to where I want to save the data. I'm setting the path as D drive and now to save the word cloud, word cloud dot to file and give a name. Dot PNG. So we are saving it over here and we are running the cell. And as you can see, the word cloud is saved as a PNG file. The next thing we are going to do is to give a shape for our word cloud. So we are going to do the word cloud in this shape. To do that, first we will import the image library. Then we will read the image file as a numpy array. Our file name is brain. So we are telling the software to open the image file as a numpy array. Now that we have read the image file as a numpy array, let's create the word cloud. Mass word cloud. And we'll give a figure size. And there you have it, our word cloud in the shape of the image. Now, so far we have looked at creating word cloud from data in Jupyter Notebook. Now let us look at creating word cloud from the data in a CSV file. 
For this, I have some codes on artificial intelligence by various authors in an Excel file. I am going to use this file and create a word cloud from it. To do this, I need to read the data. Pandas.read Excel. And to see the codes, we can print the codes. So this is the data for our word cloud. Let's apply the processing on this data. We are going to process the codes from this data. Apply data processing. Now that the data is processed, let's combine the different tokens and generate the word cloud from it. Now let's set the figure size and the face color. Turning the axis off. Maybe so. image of word cloud and you can see the word cloud now if you make the axis as on you can see the axis being also plotted along the word cloud now similarly let's apply a mask to this mask word cloud background color is white and mask as mask Let's set the figure size. Mass word cloud. Turning the axis off. And as we can see, we have the word cloud with a mask in a white background. And similarly, let's save this. And as we can see, mass word cloud is generated. Now let's generate a transparent background for our mass word cloud. To do this, I'm copying this code. Mass word cloud text. Background color is none. And I'm adding a mode uh, GVA. As you can see, we have a white document. Now let's save the transparent masked word cloud. Masked word cloud transparent. And as we can see, we have a transparent word cloud. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you got an idea about creating word clouds in Python. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to drop a like and share this video if you found it useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.